Several parents and students from different high schools affected by the proposed redistricting plan made their voices heard during a protest out here before they went inside for a public hearing. Many of them told me that they want the school system to find a different course of action. On Wednesday, dozens of Howard County students and their parents held signs and chanted outside of the Howard County Board of Education building. They're protesting the superintendent's proposed redistricting plan. It affects around 2,500 students and comes as the county plans to open a new high school in Jessup next fall. Under the plan, some students from Hammond, Howard, and Long Reach High Schools will be sent to the new high school, while some students from Mount Hebron will be sent to Howard, and some students from Reservoir will be sent to Hammond. Safi Rahman is a freshman at Mount Hebron and is concerned about the relationships he's built at his school. We have been involved in different clubs, different sports. We're getting to know our teachers, so getting moves in between while you're trying to figure out the high school experience, it's, it's tough. Carib Local's son, who's a freshman at Howard High, would go to the new high school under the new plan. She says her son is concerned about extracurricular activities. He's in the Howard High marching band, and um, it's very unlikely that this new school he'll go to his sophomore year will have a marching band right from the start. Sangeetha Singh has a student at Mount Hebron, and she and some other parents think that district leaders should come up with a different strategy. They should make a plan where they can go ahead and improve the school system and improve, uh, like ma make some improvements in the school and expansion in the school where they can accommodate all the kids. I really hope that um, the Board of Education listens to the children tonight and does the right thing and only opens the new high school with ninth grade and let the kids who are already at Mount Hebron and other high schools stay where they are. I reached out to the superintendent and they were not able to do an interview tonight. Another public hearing is scheduled for October and a final decision is expected in November. In Howard County, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11 News.